everybody! Welcome to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA, the fourth grade edition. I'm Miss McCarthy and I'm here to teach you the following standard today. It's maths.4.md.3.7. It's our last measurement and data standard before we move on to geometry. Yay! Lesson 25 today in finding unknown angles. Um, so before we begin, You'll notice that I have problems up here, and every single problem that I'm doing, you can be doing at home. You can also download the same problems that I'm using by looking in the, descri the description box below. Click the link that will take you to the complete guide to passing the FSA with all of the math standards that you need to know. Um, it's like over 300 problems practicing, but I've got a nice um, table of contents. You find this standard, you find this lesson, and boom you have the same problems that I do. So let's get going, okay? Let me teach you. A diagram is shown. Here's our diagram. Create an equation, means we need an equal sign, that can be used to find the measure of angle C. And part B says, what is the measure of angle C? So let me kind of redo down here what it looks like. That way you guys can see a little bit better. All right, now this is not exact, but this is saying this is 31 degrees. This is 78 degrees. Here's C. Everybody hey, say, hey, C. We're going to figure out what your measure is. Okay, so this is a straight line down here, and we know that straight lines measure 180 degrees. That means that when I add all these angles together, the sum of those angles should be nine, I'm sorry, 180 degrees. So because of that, I can write down this following equation. 23 plus, let me do degrees, plus C plus 78 degrees plus 31 degrees equals my straight line, 180 degrees. That's all you need. Do I have my equation? Oh yeah. And the measure of angle C. Well, if I were to add up the angles that I know and then subtract them from 180, I would be able to figure out what's missing. So let me add them all up together. So I have, can you see? Let me see where I can write this. 23 plus 78 plus 31. 3 plus 8 is 11, plus 1 is 12. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 7 is 10, plus 3 is 13, so 132 degrees. That's not your answer. 132 degrees is not your answer. That's what these guys equal added together. But the whole thing is 180. So let me subtract what I know, which is 132, to figure out what I don't know. 0 minus 2, you can't do that, so you need to regroup. That becomes a 7. This becomes a 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 7 minus 3 is 4. So 48 degrees would be the measure of angle C. Example 2. Woo. Valerie. Valerie is adding angles to create other angles. Select the angles that Valerie can use to create a 140 one 43-degree angle and a 56-degree angle. Ooh. Um, all right, so what I need to do is I need to select the angles that I can combine and add them to get the sum of 143 and 56. So I'm going to start with 56 because it's a little bit smaller, and I'm looking at the digits in the ones place over here. So I got four, seven, two, and five. And I'm trying to see when I, just to kind of get started, to see which two numbers in the ones place maybe that I could add to get 56, to get that six. So I'm seeing four and two, and I know four plus two equals six. So let me try adding 24 plus 32 to see if I get 56. Four plus two is six, two plus three is five, 56. So yes, these are the two angles I need to make um, 143. I'm sorry, 56. Now let's go on to 143, which is a little bit harder. 
So, do I have anything looking at the ones place that when I add it, I could get a three? Like a five, let me see, four and seven, that's 11, nine, 12. All right, I just gotta start playing around with numbers. So I'm gonna add up 24 and 87 to see what I get. I get 11 and then I get 11. That's not enough. Ooh, but if, hang on. So if I, let's see if I add that 32 or get me there. One plus two is three. One plus three is four. And one, bring it down, we got it. So it is the 24, 24, 87, 87 plus our 32. Example three, example three. What is the measure of the unknown angle? Here's 28. And here would be where my unknown angle is. I don't know what the measure of this is. So, again, we have a straight line, and a straight line measures 180 degrees. I know that this angle is 28 degrees, so if I subtract 180 from what I know, I should figure out the rest of it, what I don't know. So zero minus eight, we can't do that, so we need to regroup over here. Eight becomes a seven. 0 becomes a 10, 10 minus 8 is 2, 7 minus 2 is 5, and then we bring this down, so what are we missing? 152. Well, hot doggy, we're almost finished. This is the last example for today, example 4. Adrian is adding angles to create other angles. He starts with an angle that measures 56 degrees. Select all the possible ways that he could uh, he could have added angles to reach a sum of 180 degrees. So this is a multi-select item. What I need to do is add all of these, go through each one and see if I reach a sum of 180 degrees because he starts with 56, 56, 56, 56, 56, 56, and then he adds on. All right, <clears throat> 180. So let me start with this one. So I have 100. I'm going to start with the greater number just to make it easier for myself that's 10 1 plus 7 is 8 bring down the 1 that's 180 degrees so a is an answer but I'm not stopping there because I need to select all of them 56 36 98 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 8 is 20 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 10 I'm sorry, seven plus three is 10. And that would be 190. When we add the nine, that's too much. Too much something is just as tough. All right, six plus five is 11. 11 plus nine is 20. Two plus Five is seven plus four is 11 plus seven is 180. So C is an answer. I'm gonna erase a little bit. 56, 73, 51. We're looking at D right now. Six plus three is nine plus one is 10. Five plus five is 10 plus eight is 180, so yes, D. One more. Whoa. I can do this. I'm not gonna give up. Oh, all right, I forgot to put 124 on top, but that's okay. Six plus four is 10, oh, this is slanty. I'm gonna put the five over here. Six plus four is 10 plus five is 15. And already we have a five in the sum, so that's not gonna work, but let's just carry it out. We've got 185 would be it, so that's not right. A, C, N, D. It's motivational message time. You know, I can't leave you without a lesson to help motivate you. But today we're gonna talk about fear. All right, a lot of us, many of us are afraid of things in life and like 99% of those things are never going to happen. We're just afraid that they're going to happen. So a lot of us, like for example, our dreams. Maybe you have 
a dream to, I don't know, become a doctor, but you're afraid that you won't pass the test that you need, or you're afraid that you won't get into medical school, or you're afraid that you won't have the money to go, so it holds you back. That's false evidence appearing real. You can do it. If you focus on it, you can get it done. So I challenge you to stop being afraid and just start embracing the challenge. Okay? Bye guys. I will see you next time.